video I'm going to be talking about The Fox and Little Tunuki. Uh, so far there are five volumes out. I do have them, but I don't have them uh, all with me. Um, this is a super cute, every age readable manga. I say like all ages, but like reader, reader wise, like they should be able to read probably before reading it because there is some like darker content but in general it's just a very sweet safe for everyone read with really really adorable art that um it's just uh, so good <laughs> let me read the back and then i'll go more in detail about my thoughts on the at least the first five volumes of the series so, it is said that there are some special animals occasionally born with great powers. Senzo, the black fox, is one of those. But, instead of using his powers for good, he abused his strength until the sun goddess imprisoned him for his bad behavior. 300 years later, he's finally been released, but only on one condition. He can't have any of his abilities back until he successfully helps a tanuki pup named Manpachi become an assistant to the gods. Now Senzo, the once great fox, must figure out how to be an actually great babysitter to an innocent little tanuki or risk being stuck without his powers forever. So there you have it. Some things that I would definitely point out is that uh, Senzo the Grump is actually the one who names Manpachi, and that is important because it all ties into the story in later volumes. Um, about like how he got that name and why he chose uh, the whole thing but but yeah essentially Senzo is a big <laughs> grumpy fox now technically if I'm not mistaken about the lore in it because again it, like it's sprinkled throughout technically Senzo should have been like a, a good omen I believe because like the black foxes were supposed to be lucky then a lot of a lot of stuff was happening that caused them to think that Senzo was bad. Possibly a lot of misunderstandings. A lot of this is sort of played out throughout the, the course of these volumes, so you don't really know. Like, you have to then piece it all together as more gets revealed. And I don't know how long the series is going to be, because I'm actually surprised that a sixth one is coming out. I almost thought it would be wrapped up by five just because like as it gets to five there's so much that suddenly is revealed um but there is a sixth one coming out and potentially more i'm not really sure uh but in general this is a really good story and even though it is essentially safe for all reading ages there are some more like serious spots in it so just like know that and watch out for it but in general it's fairly fairly safe um there are some like larger concepts too that i think won't necessarily be grasped by everyone but i do think it's a fascinating look even like culturally at things how some of the spirits are created including later we get like manpachi and why manpachi was created and what his powers and his whole connection to Senzo are. I loved it. it was so good. I, I'm just gonna, I should throw that out there. That I ended up loving this, and I wasn't, at first I thought it would be a throwaway series, honestly. That's just, oh, this is cute, and it's safe for everyone, and here's just this fox and a little tanuki. Um, but then, like, wow, it goes to all these different levels and the interconnection of everything and all the backstories it's amazing there's like a wolf boy that I say wolf boy but he's like he's a wolf spirit um that loves cats like does anything in his means to protect cats and is often seen as like super weak and so it's like his relationship with his partner and everything that happens there there's a sweet adorable dog boy um who <laughs> just is the happiest sweetest boy he's a good boy but does his work with the wolf team and like how they all also like have their backstories about like 
sometimes how they were created and what their roles are and it's just really good so it does like it, the story expands beyond just that of Senzo and Manpachi but they're all interconnected to Senzo and Manpachi so it's not strictly just about them but also it is because they all interconnect with that story and what happened for instance the wolves all those years ago the wolves were fighting Senzo uh, and like trying to clear him from their land and I don't know it it's hard I don't want to give like everything away so it's hard to explain but that whole that whole part of the story connects as well and so then it's impacting how Senzo is treated now and how he's seen although there was more to that story about the past than oh it's just this bad wolf of uh, this bad fox attacking the wolves or the the wolves and the fox having a battle there was more going on than that and a lot of not necessarily intentional deceit but a lot of like misunderstandings and I don't know that's why I say there was a lot more depth <clears throat> so even though I do think it's safe for a lot of readers there's a lot of like depth to it that not all readers would necessarily get this would be a good one to family read and have converse just conversations about rather than just necessarily uh, handing like I, I personally wouldn't just hand it over to uh, one of the kids in my family and be like, read this, I would want them to read it and talk about it or read it together because I think there's a lot of little parts and nuances that would be good for learning and discussion. And I do like it for that. Like, I think, I think there's a lot of good meat to this story beyond just the really cute animals. But pretty much every animal you meet in it does have this bigger story and chunk to the story and I, I don't I just you know when you read something and you're just like you know what I just like this I just like it um that's really how I felt about this series and so I'm glad I read it and I do look forward to continuing it and I would just recommend this to most readers and families and especially if you want to have a family collection of manga that you read with your child, children, this is a good one. It's a good one to read and just feel good because that's how I felt reading it. It was just I wanted to read more of the story. I wanted to see like what was Senzo's backstory. Um, what's the deal with Manpachi? What's the deal with the wolves and the good boy dog? Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to know and so yes I'm just gonna say like Fox and the Little Tanuki is definitely worth a read. It's heartwarming it's sweet it's also a little bit sad and would say yes pick it up read it <laughs> that's it for this video until next time <laughs>